Well, good afternoon. Today you join me on one of the Fenland drains and I'm trying to catch a few zander. And the way that I'm fishing for these zander this afternoon is with small dead baits. So in this AD quick bite, I'm gonna run you through my top three zander dead baits and when and where I'd use them. When I dead bait the zander, it's very similar to pike fishing, but it involves a lot more finesse. So it's a lot finer wire, a lot smaller hooks, and also a lot smaller baits. So my first choice and my go-to dead bait for zander, and probably my favorite, is a small dead roach. And the reason I like those so much, that's probably the most common food source in these drains, and it's what the zander will feed on naturally. Well, the perfect size roach for me for Xander is probably three to four inches long. And I like to mount them on my little Xander traces, which I have a single hook at the top, which I just hook in the root of the tail, which holds the bait on nicely. And then just one treble hook that can be hooked in the flank. Sometimes if you've got a few finicky feed in Xander, you can just cut the fish down to make it a slightly smaller bait and it gives it a little bit more attraction. My second choice of dead bait is a small eel section. I tend to cut them down to three to four inch long sections and the reason I really like them is they're so tough. And that does two things. It means I can cast them quite a long way on the bigger drains. And like this drain that I'm fishing today, there's a bit of a problem with the mitten crabs. So they're a lot tougher if there's any nuisance things such as crabs or crayfish in your river. And they're really good for casting long range. As I mentioned, I like to cut them down into sort of three to four inch sections. I've got the tail of an eel here. And similar to the roach, I'm gonna put my single hook in one end. They're really tough, so they definitely don't come off and then just put the treble hook down there like that. And I can cast that as hard as I like, and I know it's gonna stay on there. And my final choice of dead baits I stumbled across by accident whilst pike fishing out here, and that's the smelt. So if I go in the tackle shop and they've got some very small smelt, they make a perfect Xander bait. And the other good thing about them, I can just keep a few packets in the freezer for any spur of the moment sessions. But this is the perfect sized little smelt for a nice big zander. It's hooked exactly the same as the other two baits. The single hook goes in the root of the tail and I just straighten the wire and put the treble hook in the flank of the fish. And if you want to know how to tie the rig that I'm mounting these dead baits on, we've actually filmed a separate quick bite, which is on our YouTube channel. Well, they're my top three zander baits. I'm itching to get these rods out. So I'm going to put one rod on one of those little dead roach and I think I'll put an eel section on the other rod. And fingers crossed, as we get later in the afternoon, I can catch a zander for the camera. Well, there you go, there's all the proof you need. This little fella probably took my favorite of those three little dead baits and this picked up a little dead roach. But all three of those baits are all good on the right day. So if you fancy catching some Xander this winter, definitely get out on the dead baits because it does pick up the slightly better fish.